Kevin. What are you doing? Hi. Well, I was using my rosebud tip on my oxygen acetylene torch a little while ago. I was working on this bell stand over here. And I noticed the flame was just really ugly at the end, so I thought I'd clean it. So what are you using a rosebud for? What's it do? And this is the end that I attached to the torch handle itself. And it's got this big tip on the end of it. And you see there's lots of little holes in it right there. And that's where the flame comes out. So it's called a rosebud because of the size of the flame it makes. Great big round ball up here. Kind of long. Heats over a very big area. As opposed to like this little guy. This is a welding tip. One tiny, tiny little flame about that long out of the end of it for when you're doing kind of small welding work where you're melting, melting steel together and feeding it with filler wire trying to join something up. So this is for bending and this one's for welding. And then after a while the nozzles, you know, the little holes in the end, the orifices in there, they get a little carboned up, a little gunked up. So you got to come in with a tip cleaner. You can get these in like your local welding supply store. And you open them up and you think, wow. They look like a whole bunch of little tiny pipe cleaners. And all you do is you find the right size to fit the orifice in the end of the torch. They have a little chart on the back of it, but that's normally the first thing that gets all dinged up so you can't read it anymore. Well, I just start with one that's smaller than the orifice itself. So you can just slide it down in there, just one time, each one. And that helps to knock any of the carbon out of the, out of the orifice itself. And then I'll go up in size, one size at a time, and just keep doing that until I finally find the, the, uh, finally find the cleaner that's the right size. You know, that one's just a nice snug fit. It's not too tight. It's not too loose. And you just slide it through and clean all the little tips out, all the little orifices out. And you can use that for any size tip, not just the rosebud? Oh, yeah, that works with all of your oxygen acetylene tips. Uh, you know, lots, lots of different sizes right there. The other thing they have is just a... handy little file, almost like a little nail file. And you just dress it across the top of your tip just to get rid of any little burrs, get rid of whatever carbon may have built up on the top of the tip. You're good to go. You will now have a nice clean flame on it again. You can get back to work. So let me just go ahead and do these other two while I've got it out, and then I'm going back to work. I like what with a little welding tip. Just run that file across the top of it. Clean up the top real nice and then pull out the right the right size cleaner. Why do you do it the opposite way? That's a really good question. I don't know. You probably should run the file across the top first, just to clean up the top of the tip, get that flat, smooth, and then you can come in and clean the holes because whatever burrs you may make with the file, that way you can clean them out of the orifice at the same time. Just clean them out a little bit, all nice and clean and shiny, ready to go back on the torch and go back to work. And speaking of that, I think I will. We'll see you next time.